So today we're going to talk about recoil management and why that is important. Hey guys, it's Kelly here from Armed and Feminine. Before we get started, remember, hit the like button and the subscribe button. It always helps our channel. Today we're going to talk about recoil management. Some people struggle with that, some people don't. And we want to give you maybe a little tip that can help you with that. A lot of people will shoot with their arms completely straight out and locked at the elbows. That doesn't always give our palms the, the best placement onto the grip in order to handle recoil. And when I'm talking about that, stand by, empty gun, is the muzzle flip of the gun after the shot goes off. So some people I will see will have just so much administrative handling of that gun and putting getting getting their grip back on it because they don't have a good grip to start with and the recoil is sort of overpowering them and sometimes with a locked arms fully extended we're not getting that pressure so a little thing that you can do put this right back would be try this little exercise follow along at home if we are fully extended and press your palms together if you were to keep that pressure and pull them back toward your core and give yourself a little east-west elbow as I call it you will feel a dramatic increase in the pressure between your palms so that will happen too on the grip of your gun so for having trouble with that a little east-west arms might be just what you need so we're going to do three little segments in slow-mo so you can see another improper um, position for recoil management would be not having your grip the full way to the top of the back strap. I will see some folks who have a little bit of lag right here so as the shot breaks the muzzle will really flip in the air. So we're going to try three different ways. One will be this low grip, see the muzzle flip. The second would be arms fully extended and locked, see the muzzle flip. And then do a little east-west elbow, bringing the gun back toward your chest, and look at the muzzle flip there. Anything that's going to help you with recoil management is going to help you wiggle that gun around less and get your shots back on target a whole lot more quickly. All right, our first one will be the grip not quite to the top of the, of the back strap. So we're gonna watch the muzzle flip this way. all the way up, but arms fully extended and locked. All right, so this one we're going to bring our extended arms a little bit toward us with a little east-west elbows and see if that controls the muzzle flip a whole lot better. So if you find yourself struggling with recoil management and too much muzzle flip or difficulty in getting back on target fairly quickly, try keeping those palms really tight on your, on your grip and bringing them closer to your core. You will definitely feel that you have a lot more pressure on the grip. And of course, that grip is essential to good shooting. I'm Kelly from Armed and Feminine. Hit the subscribe button. Leave us a comment on what your best way is to handle recoil management. And remember, it's your life. Protect it.